Hey everyone, Dev with Crime Hive, back with another video, and we're back with the Melissa Caddick case. If you haven't heard already, her her decomposed foot was found, and and that was confirmed to be her foot. So we're going to talk about some of the new de developments and the details in this case. Uh, not a lot had had really been going on. Uh, we we hadn't really heard much, and then um, there's been some spurts of of, of new evidence and and details. So I just wanted to go over seven facts in this case as we go into this here. And again, if you like these kind of true crime videos, just be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you can. That will give you more updates. And, and then like the page, share it with those if you can with the Crime Hive community. And let's get into these seven facts. I'll be using my notes here. Uh, again, though, we're talking about this foot. If you haven't seen this, this the, the photo, this is an image of her foot right here. The, the shoe actually matches the description of Melissa Caddick's shoe. So uh, then they, they found the human flesh. Um, I heard it was you know bone, um, decomposed, decomposing flesh. I've heard some different reports about that. And it was confirmed to be Melissa's. Now there's some other bizarre developments that we're gonna talk about in this case. So as we're going through, and I'll just hide those other ones for now, We've got the decaying foot was found specifically off the south of Tathra on February 21st, so not too long ago. It was really only between 400 and 500 kilometers from where she went missing. So and I think I've got a map here I can point out here that I found here. So, you know, if you remember where her uh, Dover Heights home is, right up here, if you're looking, there's, there's an enlarged image of it. Uh, and then just down here, just down here off the, off the, the water here, some campers actually found the the foot and in the shoe so campers found it uh, so it was you know just just this stretch away but but uh, no other body parts or or remains of Melissa Caddick have been found so that's what we're going to talk about here with with number two here fact number two we have there were chunk a chunk of stomach flesh was found on Mollymook Beach and this was um, on Friday, so just days ago at the time of this video, and they determined that it did not belong to Melissa Caddick, but the other mystery here, there was a lot of talk about a male snorkeler who had gone missing from that area on January 25th. So a lot of people thought it must be his remains, and it wasn't. So that was the the, the latest development in this case, is the, the human flesh, the stomach flesh, they did determine it belongs to a male, but it's a different person. So we've got the missing snorkeler. We have this other unknown man whose torso is floating, floating around, and then uh, you know found by a snorkeler. And then you've got Melissa Caddick, whose foot was the only thing that's been found. But as we go to to fact three here, additional remains were found, and this was near. And I'm going to butcher the name of this, Kunjurong Point. Um, I know there's some people from Australia that watch this, and, I, and I'm probably butchering the name, and I apologize. But uh, in that area on February 27th, and the thing about these remains, though, is they still need to be forensically tested. Okay, so there were, uh, fact four, we, we lead into there were some bones that had been washed up on the surrounding beaches uh, over that same week. And, and so people thought, you know, could, th could these remains be from Melissa? And then those were confirmed to belong to an animal. So we had some animal rem remains that were floating. Um, you know, but people were, were uh, capturing these bones. And then from what I've heard, there's, there's, there still may be some additional remains. Now, you know, is it related to the torso that was found? Um, could they be Melissa Caddix? You know, it's it's yet to be known. I'm sure by the time of this video, maybe we'll have some new information. If you have that info, post below, comment below. You know, uh, the community likes to hear these kind of updates. Um, as, as I don't know everything as it comes in, and um, you know, it was actually a viewer that had advised me about the the foot being found. This was days ago, so um, I don't do my my videos right now until Wednesday, upload them Wednesday. So I, I certainly would have tried to get that out sooner if I, if I could have, but uh, that's fact four in this case. Now, fact five, okay, the, the interesting thing here from the NSW police assistant commissioner is, you know, due to, to things such as items being left behind, you know, belongings left behind by Melissa, uh, 
they think it could be suicide, but they're not ruling out foul play. You know, I mean, you, you, you certainly can't at this stage in an investigation because there's still so many questions that, that remain. But, um, you know, as we're as we're searching for her, figuring out, you know, the mystery of this because of, of the circumstances with with the fraud involved on, on Melissa's end. I think that's what makes this case so unique is her financial resources she had. And and we'll talk about that here with these other uh these other other facts here so facts fact six before i get into more of the financial fraud aspect of it uh, number six was her body could have drifted to the nsw south coast right it, they said it's unlikely that her body could have drifted there while the foot itself had not shown signs of being in water for an extended period of time so this person goes on to say that they're there was some green growth on it, on the foot, okay? So they didn't think that it was in the, the water that long, which, which suggests that another theory out there that possibly Melissa was on the run when, when, when police were closing in on her and you know they were doing the search warrants and all that. She may have, some people speculate she may have been on the run for weeks, maybe even a couple months before something happened to her, right? Some people think suicide. Maybe she, you know, it wasn't as easy as as she thought to get away with this, and and she and she gave up. Um, some people think it's suicide. What are your thoughts below? Um, some people think that something more sinister happened. I've heard reports of, you know, the the husband um, could have been involved with this, right? And then I've heard reports that, of course, you know, leading into into fact seven, twenty million dollars stolen from from investors, right? Could there have been someone? that was you know you know vengeful and 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 could have had something to do with this i mean it, there, there's still quite a few questions there i'm wondering what your thoughts are below what theory do you think is is more likely uh with the, with this case so what what's interesting is this person said that a body drifting that far has never happened in my time in the water police you know so he's talking about the shoe uh he just doesn't think you know they don't think it's been in the water for three months and this is you know, just upon speculation here, but they still got to do some testing to to find out. You know, they, they they need to do this extensive analysis still, forensics, to to really determine that. But uh, that's just at first glance. So, fact seven, uh, just continuing with with the uh, the investment aspect. You know, again, she promised huge returns with with this. You know, holding people's retirement savings, and and then I learned recently that liquidators appointed to deal with with melissa caddick's affairs apparently they were not able to find a single example of a legitimate investment in her name okay so quite crazy um her company didn't have a, li a license um you know there was no license in her name a financial services license here so investors were deceived from the very start you know i found this from another article here uh, a lot going on with this case a lot of mystery uh, but there are some people that believe, hey, it's it's just Melissa's foot that is, that is unaccounted for, right? Um, some people think it's possible that that her foot, uh, you know, that she's alive, and that and that her foot uh, was was more of a you know a deceiving act uh, with with everything else she's done, all all the cons and 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 the fraud and all that. So you just have this wide range of of, of speculation on this case. But uh, I'm just letting you know what we know now. These seven facts here, as far as we know, uh, there will be much more, I'd imagine, here as, as we learn. Um, I'll probably make another video down the road. But uh, let me know your thoughts below. Uh, I definitely post these you know, on the, on the Facebook page and Instagram. Um, you guys can find me on there as well. And eventually, when there is a little bit more time in my, in my current hectic schedule, there will be more videos and more lives. And I appreciate you being patient. Uh, just right now is, is not the time. But uh, definitely, definitely stay tuned for next week's weekly video as I come back. And if you guys have any questions, comments, definitely leave that below. This is the update on Melissa Caddick. And you guys all take care. This is Dev with Crime Hive.